Welcome back to Miller's In Motion. Today, we are going to go do something a lot of fun. Kind of popped up out of nowhere. We got a call from our buddy Joe Mel and Coley Brady from Alliance RV. They're in Dallas. They're actually at the Dallas RV Super Show. We didn't find this out until earlier in the week. So we're going to go hang out with them. We're going to go check out some models that we maybe don't get to see very often as well. Maybe run into some more friends. Hopefully we ran into you out there. We didn't really post that we're coming, so... Sorry if you didn't know, but uh, we didn't know either. So let's go hang out in uh, in Dallas for the rest of the day. Let's go. Well, we have made it to the Dallas show, and it's Joe. Hey, everybody. Welcome to the Dallas show. <laughs> uh, it is not the Tampa show, like I've been calling no, it. No, not the Tampa in show. the routine is what happens. Yes. Um, but we're going to take a look at a handful of rigs that we really haven't looked at very much because yeah. it's really outside the realm of what Lauren and I would do because we're toy hauler people. Yep. But you guys have a lot of new floor plans. Yep. And we did a, because of the podcast, we did a poor job of looking at RVs at the hey. Super Show in Tampa. So that's what Dallas is for. But the podcast was still very successful. Oh, and you blast. had a lot of people over there. It was awesome. It was fun. Uh, speaking of, we have all the shows that are coming out right now. If you haven't seen Cully's interview with us, check, check that, that out. out. Yep. Joe's is coming up. Plus, we're going to get the <laughs> now. We get to spend a little more time with you guys here in a little bit. So yes. I have a little sneak peek to what's coming at the end of the month, uh, early yep. next month, in between all the other chaos that we updated you guys on last week. So, yeah. yeah. But uh, what is this rig behind us that we're going to so take a look at? This is the all new 2024 tw uh, Avenue All Access 24RK rear kitchen model. Ah. Uh, this thing is coming in at 28 feet, three inches in length and has a dry weight of 8,000 pounds. Very cool. The cool thing about the avenues, and I'm going to say even more so about the Avenue All Access, is that it's a very versatile trailer for towing purposes. So yes. you can have a little bit more lenience with the truck. Yes. You still should pay attention to your GVWRs, your yes. payload capacities, your truck. Do your own math. 100%. Don't trust anybody to tow anything other than yourself. Yep. If you have questions on any of that math, Ask us, or we will link Chad and Tara's video from Changing Lanes, where he goes into way too much detail. Uh, but that's how we learned it. Definitely. It's a great video on how you guys can learn it. But we don't mind helping people do math, so yep. by all means, ask us. But let's go check out this let's avenue. Let's go check it out. So let's start with the outside, since there's a ton of people inside. Yes, so the outside is actually super important. So you got a nice fiberglass front cap right there. Uh, and what's really cool is the, uh, the Avenue series has Asdell and composite materials almost 360 degrees on this thing. Which is unheard of from a lot of other competitors, coaches. Especially in the mid-profile category, right. right? So you have double-sided Asdell on your walls. So you have an exterior side and an interior side of Asdell. And then you have aluminum on the inside with, with uh, condensed foam. So you have, if water were to penetrate that wall somehow while you're driving, you're not gonna have to worry about rot, mold, mildew. It's 50% lighter than Luan wood. Um, and it's just a superior product. Uh, additionally, on the Avenue line, we put composite floor on uh, composite floors as well. So that way you have composite floor decking. So that way, again, if anything gets in the coach, any water gets in the coach, you are not gonna have any problems with rot or mold getting it down in there. Um, we do use a uh, Lippert chassis that goes across the board over here. You got pass-through storage that's pretty large. Nautilus system over here, rubber coin uh, backplate over here. So if you do were to scratch or nick, you're not going to worry about cutting some of that fiber that some of the other competitors use. It uh, comes with a backpack. It comes with a very nice backpack. <laughs> yes, uh, 72 inch diffused LED light in there. So you're going to get a ton of light in there as well. Uh, now I think we should also, let's go take a look inside now. So on the camp side of this, you got a huge awning to maximize your camp side, you know, outdoor pleasures. Now, when you're driving, your running gear is super important. You got Goodyear tires and the Cree 3000 suspension system, as well as a two inch torsion tube and half inch sackle kits. And that really matters when you're driving down the road. And that's another one of those things that's completely unheard of in this price range profile. It's typically you're not yes. going to get a CRE 3000 upgraded suspension from Morai. You're going to have standard hangers. 100% standard hangers. You're getting that. This is almost this is the same system we put on our paradigms. Yep. So you're getting that paradigm running suspension system on a half ton towable avenue. And you're also getting a different water heater. You're going to get the suburban on demand water heater. So if you guys like to take long hot showers like myself, uh, you're going to be able to enjoy that. Yes, I laughed in the background <laughs> at that. Uh, now, we another thing is, I'm a big boy. Check this out. This is a steel ladder. This thing is sturdy, it's easy to use. 
uh, and there's a grab handle on the roof so you can easily get on the roof as well. And uh, talking about the exterior, the roof, it's a PVC membrane that is 80% more solar reflective than TPO. And it um, also is patch repairable. So you could buy any patch from any big box. Say you were to catch a branch going into a campground, go buy a patch kit, good as new, also lifetime warranty. <laughs> One of the cool things about that too is it's the exact same roof that's on Valor, Paradigm, Delta, Future Projects, yep. and, uh, and Avenue. So yep. it doesn't really matter which product you're getting from Alliance, you're still getting the same good roof. That's one of the reasons why we like these guys so much is, yeah. it, it, yes, there are things that go up and down yeah. with with some of them because at yeah. the end of the day, Avenue All Access is a little cheaper than like a full-fledged yeah, paradigm. It's definitely a price point piece. And, but yeah. in the, you guys put money where it matters and that's a yes. big thing to us and not the areas that are a little bit more unnecessary sometimes yeah. and honestly end up breaking and causing you more problems. So, yeah. all right, let's see if we can get inside. Right, let's see if we can get inside. All right, buddy, I'm not gonna lie. This is a pretty solid looking little interior space here. I mean, you're, if you are looking at those full profile fifth wheels, but you don't have the truck that can tow it and you need something smaller, Avenue All Access 24RK. And what is the GVWR of this guy? The GVWR, I think was nine something. I don't remember off the top of my head. Yeah, which is not bad, which yeah. means your pin weight's probably only around the 800 to 18, 1100 mark. Yeah, somewhere so in depending on how much stuff you put up in the front cap. Yep will depend on obviously what your GVWR pin weight and what your towing capacity is. Yep. I would probably say you're still in 250 land here, but yep. you can go pretty well equipped 250. Yep. You don't have to go too crazy on the no. truck side. So. No, 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 you don't at all. Uh, you got solid surface countertops throughout tons of counter space. We did sacrifice the dinette for a bar area over here because this is a couple's coach. It's designed for two people to go enjoy the great outdoors. So you got nice little seating area here. There's a 40 inch smart TV with a Furion sound bar that is directly across from your sofa. Um, you got nice cabinetry and our drawers can support up to 90 pounds in there. And that's a feature that's across the board. So you're gonna find that in every single Alliance product. Additionally, you're gonna have features like soft close cabinets with a magnetic catch because- Which when, scares the crap out of us sometimes because we'll yeah. close them and not and forget about it. And then like 10 minutes later, it'll snap and I'll go, what the hell was that? <laughs> yeah. Oh, what was that? Yeah. Uh, yeah, 30 inch residential microwave. Try to find that in this yeah. size trailer. It's almost unheard of. Plus fruit. Fruit, yeah, I, I wouldn't eat, want to eat it. <laughs> uh, three burner cooktop stove, a decent size oven, cook some pizzas in there. Uh, then you got a nice sink back here, deep stainless steel sink that has a window built in. And notice for this size trailer, we really maximized a lot of window space in here. So you're gonna have a lot of natural light coming in here uh, that the window's fully open so you can maximize the airflow as well. Yeah, and if you've followed us for any amount of time, you know that we do that in our valley all the time and it's amazing. Yes. Until everything you have on the counter blows off. <laughs> I'll Oops. deal with that over the heat though. Yes, uh, you got your nice, uh, I think this is a uh, 16 foot uh, yep. uh, 12 volt refrigerator. Um, another thing is you're not gonna find carpet, you're not gonna find a thread of carpet in any Alliance product. We don't use it at all. You're not, you're not gonna find it at the plant except for in the offices. Um, and then we have flush floor slides as well. So you're not gonna have those like toe kickers or toe jammers. Uh, so you're basically, you can barely tell where the floor begins and ends from the slide out. Uh, you got this massive pantry, check that out. Um, 110 power in there, automatic lights in there, and there's adjustable shelves. So you which can adjust those shelves. How you, you guys want. add in the power in the pantry, which you did across most models. Yes. Because our Valor has that. Yes. That was ingenious because now if you have like an ice machine or you want to hide your coffee pot, we have a little coffee nook, so we don't yep. use it for that, yep. but we've hidden an ice maker in there. Yep. So it's out of way and then it can stay there secured over for travel days too. Yep. But now we got a power in there, which is great. Yep. Yeah, so, so power, uh, a lot of cordless vacuums too. People like to keep there those in there too. I was gonna say, but that's one of those things again that we love about Alliance is that that came from customer feedback is yep. my understanding. And yes. so anytime, and you guys almost move too quickly sometimes in this mm -hmm. front, which is a good problem. Yes. Unless you just bought a rig and you're like, oh, I wish I had that. Yeah, <laughs> we went live earlier today on Facebook and we, uh, on the Paradigm line, we put new glazed hardwood drawers in. And, um, and it's kind of a 2024.5 kind of change kind of thing. Wait, what? Yeah, hardwood drawers. So that's in my Valor? No. Nope. Uh, <laughs> <sorry. laughs> uh, but yeah, we do move quick on that and it's all customer driven. Um, we try to do it. We listen to you guys that are out there camping. You're the ones camping in the, in the product. And that's the only way we're going to make it better is by listening. So flipping around, everything from the, this point forward is pretty standard, except I will say that's an absolute ton of storage, dude. 
Especially for the, I mean, this thing's 28.3. Yeah. So you got tons of storage in here, great coffee bar, tons of counter well, space. And remember, he said 28, I'm going to say 28 feet because three inches were just. That doesn't really. Yeah, matter. it's yeah. fine. My fish is this big. It's okay. Yeah. yeah. Um, but at 28 feet, you're still losing four feet over the truck. Correct. And so when you hook up to your truck, you take the length of your truck. It's only about 20 feet, 20, yeah. 21 feet at that point. Yeah. Which is crazy sized. Yeah. So, and you can get into pretty much any national park, any state park, anywhere you want to go with this trailer. Yeah. Yeah. So as far as up front, yeah. pretty simple. Yeah, the front's uh, pretty generic, I would say, front area. Uh, it is pretty big still. We really try to maximize it. You know, I'm I'm five ten, uh, two two ten pounds, and I got plenty of head height above me. Probably got about six seven up there. Uh, got a nice little shower area in here, and then a self wicking shower door. So it'll dra it'll drain everything off the back. Porcelain toilet with a soft close lid. Um, hanging hooks, nice drawer, an illuminated light switch. So if it gets dark out, it's easy to be Ooh, like, oh, just, oh, just push that button. With the, with the fancy. Yeah. Um, epoxy poured countertops, medicine cabinet, tons of storage, floor to ceiling, linen closets. So just maximizing every inch of this place. Again, soft closed cabinets you're going to find throughout. And that's not something you're going to find in this price point pretty much on any other brand. Uh, Check out this bedroom. I mean, this is a queen size bed. You got 25 inches from wall to mattress. So you can fully walk around this bed, making it easy to put these sheets on. Uh, you got nice drawers down here, 110 power. You got USB power as well. And then again, just more storage above the bed. You just did that drawer, I call it the mat effect. Yeah. From Matt's from RV Reviews. He pulls sometimes a little so hard he comes all the way to the end and a little yeah. extra oomph. You yeah. did that on that one. <laughs> hey, sometimes I don't know my own string. <laughs> uh, you do have storage underneath the bed that's on a strut. So you can utilize that space. That's where the, there's two stools that were at the kitchen. Yep. Uh, that's where those can easily get stored. And then behind you, Ryan, you got an additional linen closet that are pretty big. Oh, they really yeah. are big. Yeah. I mean, maximizing every inch of this space. Uh, so the, my question, and, and I, we always seem to look at things in a kind of particular way of how would we live in it, that kind of yeah. thing. If you're a couple, you could live in this. 100%. Especially if you're used to something smaller. If you're a van lifer looking to make the switch. Yep. If you are in a really small, like a, um, like a really small travel trailer, but yep. you wanted to have something that felt a little bit bigger without yep. being, I mean, it's gonna be taller, obviously. Or maybe want some of those like adventure class trailers. Yep, yeah. that kind of stuff, you could definitely do this. There's no way I could convince Lauren to do it. Yeah, <laughs> none yeah, whatsoever. You guys got a lot of space in yours. But we also have, I mean, this is the other end of that spectrum in the fifth wheel market. This is one yep. of the smallest ones you guys make. Yep. We have literally the biggest one you guys make. Yep. And so and for us, we wouldn't be able to make it work, but you could do that. Now, if you're a weekend warrior, part-timer, whatever you want to call it, this is perfect, yes, especially because 100%. it's small, it's lightweight, it's a little bit more nimble. That's where this really hits that sweet spot, and you still get all those creature comforts from the main valor, or the yeah. main valor line, the main alliance, the main line. alliance yep. line. They're, they didn't really skimp on anything. The aesthetics are similar; it's got its own take. Yep, yep. But as far as the quality and the things you're used to in all most alliance products, it's here. It's still yep. here. It's you just still get the great customer service. You still are joining a great, fantastic community that Ryan can talk to. Um, and you're going to be able to reach out to any one of us. Coley Brady, the co-founders here at the show right now, just talking to pr prospective owners that want to join yeah, the we'll, Alliance. We'll have to put them on the spot here in a minute. We're we'll, going to. Definitely <laughs> going to. <laughs> All right. So you said there's another all access here. There that is. Go take a look right at. behind us. So let's go take a look at it. Yeah. It looks like a wall right now. <laughs> All right, buddy. So this is the 26 RD. It's actually yep. even smaller. It's it actually has, it's a little bit lighter than the the 24 RK that we were just in. So this thing's coming in at 28 feet 10 inches. So it's a little longer, but it's a little lighter because of the the counter space and the way it's set up. It's coming at 7,800 pounds. The GVR the GVWR is right just under 10,000. Uh, and then the hitch weight is going to be around 1300. Which, by the way, and I didn't say this earlier in the coach, but we will link the actual Alliance side yes. to all the specs of both of these coaches and anything else we happen to walk into today. Yep. So you can see all the specs from the website that yep. uh, Joe's in charge of. Yep. And if you guys watched, if you guys saw the part earlier, the construction is going to have the same construction features the double sided Asdell wall, the PVC roof, and the composite floor as well. So you're having 360 degrees of just protection. Yeah. Yeah. All right, dude, let's check it out. Let's do it. 
So exterior wise, it's almost the exact same thing as far as on the outside. Yeah. Uh, inside, obviously it takes a pretty big spin. Yeah. So, I mean, this again is kind of uh, designed for that couple that wants to go out on the weekends, maybe do like a week or two week little vacation. You got a 101 inch booth dinette back here. This does convert into a sleeping system. So if you do have uh, kids or grandkids that you want to bring with you, this is a great space for them to be able to sleep. But also it's just very comfortable. And imagine playing poker or euchre or uno on this table. It'd be he fun. He just showed his Midwestness when I, he said euchre, euchre there. I did. I did. Definitely from <laughs> the Midwest. He did leave with poker. Oh, oh, I'm sorry. We are in town. Yeah. Oh, <laughs> good golly. I didn't know what I was doing there. Um, we also have features like dimmer switches that you're going to find on the Avenue line. So, and that's across the board, residential flush cam lights, dimmer switches, again, flush floor slides. Um, and we're just maximizing every inch that we possibly can with storage, soft closed cabinets. You're gonna find that as a common theme. Nice residential uh, theater seating that is directly across from your 40 inch smart TV. Um, that is on a swivel, so if you wanted to swivel it and face the dinette, so you're having dinner, or breakfast, whatever. You know, it's crazy when you start looking at different coaches because, yes, this one's a little bit longer. It's not that much longer. Yeah. Um, but it's how lighter. But this one feels so much bigger to me. Yeah. And it's really not physically, it's the square footage wise, it's yeah. not that much bigger. No. Nope. But it feels that much bigger just because of layout. And so, yep. one of the things we've said, if you are looking for buying in a new RV or a new coach, and you're trying to figure out what you want is this is a big factor because one of the sides i'm also looking at is i i only see one slide dude yep is there one only one, one slide in this coach? one slide and so the other one i know had two right yep no i only had one you only, only had one, one side okay yep, yep. One so side. that's something if you're looking for a lot of floor space yep. this may be your ticket because like for lauren and i you know that we Sorry, two dogs. we took Jeremiah's beloved L-shaped couch out yeah, hey, it's okay. of our Valor. It's your coach. But because we wanted the floor space that mattered to us, this has a ton of floor space. Yeah, so if you have dogs like Lauren and, and Ryan, you could have some space for them, put them, put little dog beds underneath or wherever you need to do that. But yeah, I mean, I don't know, maybe you guys like to dance on Sunday night. You got a little <laughs> dance space here. Wow. <laughs> wow. Um, you got 30 inch residential microwave. Again, unheard of in this price point unheard of in the mid the mid profile category three burner cooktop oven decent size or sorry stove top and then pretty decent size oven as well uh reinforced drawers that's a common theme across the lines they're yep. gonna be able to support up to 90 pounds in there and that was actually a feature driven by customers again um so that we were they had some customers at the plant and they were talking to one of the production workers uh, the production team members and they were like hey you know if you just put this little thing underneath there you'd be able to support oh hey weight. yeah because i well, guess there were some failures where things were falling through sure yeah and so a quick little fix well and then uh, just another one that i like because the avenue and a lot of the alliance line uses the nautilus system yes but in the 24 valors and forward now it's the mana block system block, yep and that was a combination of customer driven customer wow words right customer driven <laughs> customer driven features but also somebody in the factory Yep. Just uh, literally just one of your downline guys that was yep. working on the coach goes, hey, why don't we put all this stuff in one spot versus yep. putting it? Because you guys had shutoffs everywhere. Yes. Yeah. But they were all at location. So like yes. it'd be under the sink. It'd be at the, the toilet. It'd be at the sink in yep. the bathroom. Yep. Now, at least on the Valors, it's all in one main spot. And I can tell you, that's already come in handy for me. <laughs> uh, absolutely. Yeah. And I mean, these things go through earthquakes, right? Yep. When you drive them down the road, even if you have IS like Ryan. Yeah, they still get... <laughs> I can tell you, drive through Shreveport anywhere in, in Louisiana. <laughs> IS helps, yeah. there was still damage. <laughs> yes, 100%. Any road in Michigan, too. <laughs> that is not true. Louisiana, you still win. Sorry. Um, yeah, deep stainless steel sink and Ryan hit on the head. Plumbing shot off valves at every major plumbing location. 16 cubic foot, 12 volt refrigerator, keep things cold while you're traveling. You're also going to have a 200 watt solar panel on the roof as well, standard. Again, something that you just don't see in this yeah. version of coaches. Yeah. Where this price point, again, yeah. a partial or half profile. Yeah. And you can beef it up a little bit too if you want to add additional <laughs> solar. There's definitely room up there. Um, and then another thing is, again, check out this pantry for this. Dude. This is, this is huge. I mean, I could, I could literally stand in here if the shelves weren't here. Let's do it. No, just <laughs> Again, 110 power in there, automatic lights, and the adjustable shelves. So you can adjust that however you need with whatever you're bringing with you. Yeah. And then the front of the coach, you know, you got your nice handrail here. And then again, it's going to be pretty much the same size shower. Say. It's a little it's bit just, backwards. It's backwards. But... Yeah, 100%. Uh, Self-wicking door, nice shower surround, porcelain toilet. 
uh, you got epoxy port countertops, and again, just maximizing all the Holy. storage that you need. That's just so you know, I couldn't touch the back of that if I wanted to. Okay, I don't think I can. I definitely can't. <laughs> I say, you're shorter you're than taller, I am, dude. Yeah. <laughs> and then again, kind of the exact same in the in the bedroom. Yep, yep. So you again, got a queen size reversed. bed. It's, just, it's reversed. Yep. So a queen size bed. There's storage underneath. Yeah, I'm over here. And then that. storage <laughs> on top. You got USB power and 110 power under there, and then another linen closet. Now, again, because this is on the lower price point of the things Alliance makes as far yep. as the fifth wheel side, yep. the things you are going to sacrifice, and that is like having a second TV standard, so yes. you just have a backer. But again, this was not necessarily built with full-time in mind. Correct. And I'll be honest, I don't think any RVs are necessarily truly built with full-time in mind. Yep. I think you guys get really, really close on Paradigm and Valor. Yep. Um, but, but with Avenue do, All Access... Something that we do is we warranty all of our coaches right. for full-time living. Right. So a lot of other manufacturers will say, warranty for full-time living, but if you camp more than 180 days, yeah. you actually void your warranty. Yeah, there's we not, don't void our warranty with that. And we know because we're testing it. Yes. Um, <laughs> but that is also, you know, when you start talking about things that decreases the price, again, that's one of those things. Not everybody cares to have a TV if they're no. going to use their coach on weekends yeah. and for races and, and just whatever events they're going to go take it to. Yeah. And so that's one way that if you if you don't care so much, you can save a little bit of money. Or you, maybe you have a TV you already like that you want to use. Throw it up. Yeah. yeah. Just Easy. get a out and toss yeah. it up there. So. Yeah. And, you, and you're going to have tablets and phones and bed and you got all your charging ports right there. Yep. So. Dude, so I th I thought I saw Cully walk by out there. Yeah, let's go get him. Can we go? Good. Let's, Barbara, go, let's go. Yeah, let's, we're going to, this is, he's not aware that we're doing this. So. <laughs> We're just gonna, gonna hate me. side blind him and ask him a couple questions. I gotta say, we're at the Dallas show, which mm -hmm. is, it's a bigger show for a regional show, mm -hmm. but it's still a regional show, mm -hmm. it's not a national show. Mm -hmm. It's pretty common to see some of the CEOs of other companies, of manufacturers, to be at the Hershey show, the Tampa yep. show. Yep. Why do you make such a priority to be at even just these shows? Because I know Ryan's also at shows too. There's Ryan just so many you guys have to kind of divide and conquer. We do, yep. Well, I think it's good because you, you have a pulse on how the product's doing, how the customers are feeling. You know, I was just talking to a, a couple that just bought a Delta a 292 and they were just so happy. They've been out their first three weekends with it, they've been happy. You get that real-time feedback, right? And that's what we're, we've been searching for from day one is how are we uh, customer obsessed and how do we relentlessly improve? And those are things that, uh, you know, we live every day and we can't do that if we're not out in, in front of these customers talking to them regularly. So um, that's why I'm here. That's why we were, Joe and I were also in Austin for a couple of days. Um, last weekend I was out in Florida for a show. It's, um, this is how you stay on top. So, yeah. and keep, say, yeah, yeah. Is there anybody at the executive executive level left in Elkhart today, or is everybody? Well, I guess it's a weekend, but yeah, there's just this time of the year everybody scatters pretty bad. Yeah, I don't know about the other companies. I don't think there's a lot of them that are here. Well, I just and, met you guys. Oh, 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 yeah, we have. I think uh, we put our show list out each and every week. I think we're at 12 different shows this weekend. So February wow. is February is jam packed with shows across the country and. Uh, and so, yes, we scatter as a, as a team, and we're all at all these shows just listening and talking to customers. So it's well, been great. I know I said this previously when we picked up our coach. In fact, we talked about it in your yep. conference room, in your office when we were picking up our coach. Yep. But one of the big things for us of why we picked Alliance is because mm -hmm. you and Ryan and Joe and Bill and Jeremiah and Ab and everybody that has a say in anything yep. that goes on Alliance yep. not only shows up at these shows, yep. but you guys are here when they start. Yep. And even in Tampa, I watched yeah. you and Ryan moving tents around and yeah. moving stuff, and I can yeah. tell you that a lot of other companies that we went to, you, know, you just don't see that stuff. Well, it's bell to bell, and our sales guys especially, we work all day Sunday, so a lot of guys will catch a plane home and, and go early on a, on a Sunday morning. Our, 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 what we do and what our team is coached to do is we work all day Sunday, because even Sunday is a really busy day for, uh, for the customers yeah. that are coming through. And then we say, hey, take a day off during the week as a sales guy. You know, take Monday off, take Tuesday off, whatever you need to do to recoup, or, uh, right. recoup and get recharge or whatnot. Uh, so yeah, that's a big deal for us. And again, it's uh, it's all about being in front of the customer. That's how you. That's how you ultimately well, I was say, create the best product. From the alliance side, seeing y'all's y'all's commitment to the first guy and the last guy, not just the busy time people. Yep, it's impressive and it's. Yep commendable because you just don't see that kind of stuff in the RV industry and so I yeah. appreciate that you guys are shifting that uh, narrative if you may. We definitely are and we're excited about uh, I mean I'm looking around right now it's about lunchtime on uh, at the at right now Dallas and it is absolutely crazy busy <laughs> and I've already talked to dozens of customers so it's awesome. Well and it's funny because even at Tampa like we walked around yeah. a little bit yeah. and you saw a lot of things get busier and not busy but of the Alliance booth 
there, here. Yep. There always seems to be that different buzz around it, and yep. uh, almost like an almost an excitement. Not wow. just because you had podcasts taking up space well, that, and being that was loud, all you. But, but <laughs> yeah, yeah. No, there's a lot of energy and excitement. I think people can feel it and feel our our our, our obsession over the customer. How do oh, we again take care of them and win, and and then back it up again with great customer right. service. And I think it, that energy is contagious, and uh, customers see it and customers feel it, and I think that's what's ultimately leading them to, to our brand. So well, yeah. and it helps too that when somebody comes in and buys a coach that you guys get to shake their hand yeah. and they yep. can put a face with a name. And yeah. I mean, I know you guys are on social media all the time like yeah. we are, but not everybody looks at social media. They come to these yeah. things or they come to those things. And so being able to see you and Ryan and again, the rest of the team. Yeah, yeah, no, it's great. And I'm handing out business cards, got my cell phone, got my email on it. So if they have questions, comments, whatever it may be, uh, I'm there to help and kind of facilitate anything awesome. they need. So it's been great. Thanks, so, brother. Thank you, appreciate it, yep. All right, buddy, this All is right. not an Avenue. In fact, nope. it's a Delta. This is a Delta 294 RK. It's a rear kitchen model. Um, right now, we're going we're on the exterior. Um, very similar to the Avenue line, you're gonna have three layers of protection from composite materials. You got two layers of Asdell on the walls with aluminum construction, and you got a layer of composite material on the floor to protect from any water that does happen to penetrate under the linoleum. Um, outside here, got a large awning, got two large awnings to cover your campsite, you got outdoor TV, there's a little storage underneath there. Um, and then in the back of the coach, you have a 25 inch grill griddle combo. Uh, that's just very neat. I've actually camped in a Delta and I used this. It was great because I had vegetables going over here and I had burgers going over here. It was awesome. You put uh, vegetables with burgers? Absolutely. That's french fries. I got to be some kind of lean. <laughs> I don't look it, but yeah. I do it. <laughs> I'm, um, like, I'm like 80 20 lean. Yeah. <laughs> uh, back here, tell, go. I dare you guys to find a ladder that's 18 inches wide and is made of steel because big boys can climb this thing and they feel good climbing this and thing. And you just terrified everybody inside the RV. <laughs> <laughs> just, <laughs> well, when you have 200 pounds climb on the ladder, you're going to shake things a little bit. Uh, and then what's really cool is we doubled this towel rack or this ladder to be a towel rack. So that way, uh, when you're camping, there was actually a, on the Facebook group when we were testing some things out and getting customer driven features. Someone said that they had to remove their clothesline hanging from the ladder to the tree because I guess it was restricted at a campground. And then so then we brought this in and we're like, let's give a spot to hang. Made it real easy. There you go. The roof well, again, is going to be your PVC. You got AC up there, 200 watt solar panel. Again, just like the Avenue, just like the Valor roof is the exact same material across yep. all of them. Yep. Not only is that easier for y'all because you just buy one kind of roof. Yep. <laughs> yep. But it's yep. better for us because that means every line has the exact same kind of roof and that's yep. just the quality that you should have yep. up there. Yep, 100%. All right, let's if we can see find we some can, time, let's get let's inside. Let's go see if we can go inside. Ryan, check this out. This, I'm, I'm gonna point out, if we didn't say this, just in case you don't know, Delta is a travel trailer. <laughs> this is a travel trailer. Uh, I don't have the specs right off the top of my head. Let me peek my head out the window here so I can tell you guys the specs. So this thing's coming in right around 34 feet and it has a dry weight of 7,100 pounds. So you're gonna be able to tow this thing with a lot of different options. Um, in here, we beefed up the size of the TV a little bit. You got a 50 inch TV and it's a smart TV as well. Storage underneath, uh, as well as a fireplace. That's kind of hard to find in the travel trailer section. Yeah, I was about to say it is. You know what it reminds me of? Um, if there wasn't a toy hauler space on the back, it reminds me of the 40 V13. Yeah. Toy hauler because it's a very similar slide. Double couch, yeah. Yeah, double couch set up yep. with the with the big U shape kitchen. Um, kitchen. Yep. The only big difference being that there is no toy hauler space there. Instead, they just made the kitchen bigger. Yep. Yep. And so this is a sleeper sofa. So if you do have guests that come over, grandkids, kids, you do have a spot for them to be able to sleep. You got a you got nice theater seating that has three recliners in it, uh, and then the and you really cool about this. Say you like to read magazines or you like to put stuff, you got cubby back here. Double side cubby, two shelves here, you got USB power. I just built heard in. hiding spot for cookies that Lauren may not find. That's a good one. I like Until that. Until you record one. it and say it and then I she like looks that for one. Ryan don't want or Lauren, you can't watch this video. Yeah. You saw nothing. You saw nothing. <laughs> uh directly across, you're gonna have just an absolutely massive amount of kit counter space. Like check that out. That's you can do so much over here. Coffee bar. You can put your ice makers over here. Uh, we did sacrifice the dinette in this because again, when we were designing this, we were thinking couples. Uh, so you do have the stools here that you have a nice little breakfast bar here. But I will say too, even it's not for starters. It's not even a pop up. And nope. look at the 
width that you have to get underneath there. Yep. That actually is pretty impressive. So if you were going to lose a dinette, at least you don't necessarily lose comfortable seating with a legitimate desk. Yeah. And a lot of our design process too went into saying, you know, how much time are you really spending inside your camper? Right. You're going to be outside most of the time. So outside is where we put a lot of energy into as well. So that way you have, you have maximized awning coverage. You have the little TV out there and the grill out there. So you can live outside if you want to. Let's say even for a travel trailer, this feels pretty big. Where you do feel like it loses some space versus a fifth wheel is going to be your height. Sure. And that is it. <laughs> yep. But what's really nice is we went with a flush yep. roof system. Let's say it's not cambered it's like not a lot of them. It's cambered like some of the other comp competitors out there where when you get over here, all of a sudden the slide's here. Right. So you're gonna bonk your head where we have taller slide rooms. Yeah, I was about to say, I will say, I am 6'2", and I just touched the top of my hair. Yeah, yeah. Uh, another cool thing about the kitchen space and that you're gonna to come to find in almost every Delta floor plan except for one, is we have a built-in trash can. Uh, it's a tip-out trash can. I don't know, you have dogs, um, but I think you guys have the counter that has the uh, the, yeah, and the we trash chute. definitely use it for that. Yeah. We didn't buy an external trash can and do something else with that space. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> uh, but again, that's the cool thing about RVing is you, you can make they come use. up with it, a design idea. And while it's a great idea, I needed somewhere to put my electrical cord because I jammed too much other crap in a different storage. So <laughs> that is now storage for things on the outside. <laughs> uh, well, for me, it's awesome because I have a dog, 120 pound Bernice Mountain Dog, and he loves getting in the trash. And when, I, when we go camping and we take Deltas, he can't get in there. There you go. <laughs> uh, deep stainless steel sink. Got nice little my kitchen set up back here. And then this pantry for a travel trailer. I was going to say, you guys kill it on the pantries for the 24 models. And the, I know that's just one of the things that we keep hearing from customers is why are, there's no storage. There's no, yep. put, no spot to put my food. Let's go check out the front of the trailer. Food's very important for some of us, Joe. Uh, me too. <laughs> <laughs> Speaking of food, it's almost lunchtime. I'm hungry, right? <laughs> Uh, again, I'm 5'10", uh, 210 pounds, so I fit in here pretty dang comfortably. Yeah, Self-wicking shower door, porcelain toilet with a soft closed lid, uh, and then a large stainless steel sink where you can actually wash your hands in without spilling water all over the place. So did, did, get, did this coach get Matt's seal of approval? This did actually. There you Matt go. did make this a prime pooping position. I don't know what is this little thing. Ding. Yeah, I don't know. <laughs> I'm not going to lie. That's the amount of thought I put toward it is right there. <laughs> Ding. Thought of someone else on toilet is not exactly the thing I want to focus on. So uh, Queen size bed. So you're going to have that continued size from the Avenue series. Uh, strut assisted storage underneath. Ooh, look, you got a little drawer in there now. A little drawer in there, yeah. Fancy. Um, and then above here, a lot of thought went into it. We had a lot of debate about this in the office. Do you hang or fold your clothes at home? Are you asking me? Yeah. Combination. Yeah, I mean, yeah. So sometimes it doesn't matter. The other person right. likes to fold. Someone likes to hang. So what we do is if you like to fold, there's a shelf in there. But if you like to ah, hang, you can remove that shelf. Take the shelf out the and I shelf, hang. The shelf is movable. And you still do have more behind you. Yeah, you still have additional hanging space back here as well uh, as your cable hookups and everything else. So you do you can put a TV in here too. Very cool. Yeah. All right, let's head back out because I think there's people that want to see this. Yes, thing. yeah. Well, naturally, I had to come because it's, you know, pretty cap. Reminds me of home because <laughs> it is home. Um, Guys, thank you so much for watching. This was just kind of a fun opportunity. I didn't even know you and Cully were going to be here. I know. I called you yesterday, and I was like, hey, you in Dallas? <laughs> we're in Dallas a lot, as you guys know. So um, we said, yeah, heck yeah, let's come out and play. So, Which was great because, unfortunately, when we were in Tampa, good and bad, we did so many podcasts, I didn't get time to do anything else. Yeah. And so now we got an opportunity to kind of dive in. Plus, we get to come hang out with our friends, which yeah. is always a blast. And that's part of when you, when you buy Alliance or you join the Alliance. 100%. Hashtag, um, you're welcome. <laughs> Hashtag, <going wise. laughs> um, That's part of this, and I'd say it's even a larger portion of this. <laughs> Someone's if, testing the steps. <laughs> they work, they didn't go down. Um, but the community for me is 50% of this purchase. Yeah. And I can't, I, we said this before we bought the Alliance, and we're saying it now. Being around the community that's a part of Alliance is something that's special and a little bit different than everywhere else. The RV community is great to begin with. Sure, absolutely. Alliance just takes it up a step. So. Thank you guys so much for watching. Joe, thank you for... Uh, thank you guys for tolerating me. <laughs> I was about to say, <laughs> thanks for putting up with me, but, you know, that works too. Uh, and a big thanks to Coley for uh, letting me crash his party over there real fast. So thank you guys so much, and we will see you next week. Take care. Bye, Mom. I always forget which way.